You guys loved our thread ripper bill. Thank you so much for all the likes and comments. So now we are back again with another build. It is yet another powerhouse of an editing PC for a good friend Tamil from Tamil Tech and How Is It YouTube channels. Links in the description below. So in this video, let's start with the what and the why. Hey guys, my name is Ash. You're watching C4E Tech. And before we begin, don't forget to hit that bell icon so that you get notified every time a new video goes live here on C4E Tech. Well, since this is an editing rig and Premiere Pro is very CPU intensive, we went with a beastly Ryzen 7 1700X. This boasts 8 cores and 16 threads with a base clock of 3.4 GHz. Wait, wait, wait. I know what you guys are thinking. I guess some of you are probably already typing it out. Typing it out. Why use a first gen chip while we've got the second gen Ryzen? You know, that's already available. Well, while we planned this video, while this video was actually shot, we were going with the first gen Ryzen, but then the second was made available. So we decided to swap them out. The title would probably say it. But anyway, we asked ourselves a similar question and decided to get go with the 2700X uh, on this, which as you guys know, has the same core count, eight along with 16, fix, uh, 16 threads. Uh, what's changed here is the base and boost clock. We now get a base of 3.7 gigahertz and a 4.3 gigahertz boost. What's even better is that AMD has guaranteed support uh, for the X370 chipset for three generations, which means we can keep the rest of this build unchanged and which is why we were able to make this change at the last moment. So with a maximum TDP of 105 watts, this chip gets hot fast. That is why we have the Cooler Master Liquid Light 120 to keep things nice and cool. Now I know a lot of you guys are down there typing, why such a small rat? Why not something bigger like a 240 millimeter one? Well, two reasons really. This is Tamil's first system. So he wanted to go for something silent and compact because he isn't really planning on overclocking. Now, as a content creator, what he does need is plenty of ports to plug in a lot of external devices. And the motherboard of our choice, the Asus Crosshair 6 Hero, has plenty of those. The Crosshair 6 sports the X370 chipset coupled with multiple GPU support. But those features are mainly for gaming enthusiasts. For the content creators, we have M.2 SSD support. That's where this Samsung 850 EVO slots in. We went with the 850 EVO because of the price to performance ratio. And there is also plenty of storage and expandability options. We'd only be using one of those SATA ports. This 4TB Seagate Barracuda should be enough for enough. But eight SATA ports means there is a lot of room for future expansion. On the RAM front, we've gone with four sticks of 8GB Corsair Vengeance. These sticks are clocked in at 3000 megahertz. They are some of the fastest DDR4 sticks on the market and should be quite enough for all the editing and processing needs. And since it is 2018, we obviously have all uh, have it all decked out in glorious RGB. Of course, no editing rig is complete without the GPU. So for that, we have the Asus Triggs Gaming GeForce 1070 Ti. Now we have done a sort of mini overview of the 1070 Ti before. Here's a card to that video if you want to check it out. As for why we chose this one, well, the Asus Triggs 1070 Ti strikes a delicate balance between power and RGB. Powerful components like these need a power supply that can match up and the Master Watt 750 from Cooler Master is perfect for this build. It is power efficient with a 80% bronze rating. It's modular, meaning cable management should be a breeze. It also has a semi-fanless design. That means at idle or under low load, the noise levels coming from the system will be really low. So where did we put all this? In the Cooler Master MB500, this mid tower case from Cooler Master comes in a compact form factor, which was perfect for what we had in mind for this build. Of course, it does have Aura RGB, which means we can have synchronized color effects throughout the entire system. Coming to the case itself, despite the small size, it can fit in full size graphic cards as well as a 240mm rat. And finally, to round this list off, we have some accessories. The Cooler Master Master Keys Light keyboard and mouse combo is something Sundar regularly uses in the office. 
Cooler Master was kind enough to send us that uh, along with other components for this build. So a big shout out to Cooler Master, Asus and Seagate for helping Tamil out with these components. And also a big shout out to our sponsor, Tunnel Bear. If a fast and secure VPN is what you're looking for, then Tunnel Bear is the way to go with apps for iOS, Android, Windows, Mac, and even a Chrome extension. Tunnel Bear protects your privacy on all of your devices. One of the great things about Tunnel Bear is how it takes all the annoying setup and configuration steps out of personal VPN use. Just turn it on and you're set. With Tunnel Bear running on your device, the connection is encrypted and your public IP address gets swapped out to look like it's coming from the country of your choice. So go to tunnelbear.com c4e for a 10% discount and get started. So that about wraps it up for this video guys. If you disagree with any of our choices, then drop a comment down below. If you have any PC related queries, well, write those down there as well. If you hate PC builds, well, you know what to do. But if you did like the video, smash that thumbs up button, subscribe to C4E Tech as more PC builds are coming your way. And also click on that bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of our daily content. So thanks a lot for watching. This is where I bid you adieu. My name's Ash, you've been watching C4E Tech and I'm signing off. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.